We're standing here with Lewis Pugh, and you know Greenland more intimately than most people know Greenland. So I've been swimming now in the Arctic for nearly 18 years, but the speed of the change which is taking place in Greenland is unprecedented. This is deeply, deeply, deeply worrying. This is a Greenland ice sheet melting, and you need to actually take people here and show it to them because they're so preoccupied with what's on their desk in Washington, in Paris, in London, in New Delhi. But this is an existential threat to life on Earth. In the past 15 years, Greenland has lost four trillion tons of ice, raising global sea levels by about a half an inch. Every year, Greenland loses more ice than it gains in snow. If I was to jump into the Arctic waters in Greenland, what I would do first is put on a wetsuit. Sure. Wouldn't that be the right thing to do? <laughs> yes, it probably would. So I've always swum in just a pair of swimming trunks. Back in 2007, I did the swim across the North Pole. Much like a mountaineer will acclimatize to altitude, I've got to go and swim in colder and colder water. So I went to Iceland, I started training in seven degrees and then six degrees and then five and then four and then three. And then I'm swimming in a very, very cold river early in the morning and that was the best training. And by the end of it, I felt ready. I went to Greenland and then I undertook this swim. And, but as I said, it was a speed of the change which was, which was uh, so terrifying there. That glacier is now moving at a speed of 40 meters per day. I watched as this motorway of ice l literally just went down this field, 60 kilometers of icebergs just pouring straight into the Davis Strait. Where does that water go? Ah, well, it just it causes sea level rise. Even a small amount of sea level rise has huge p impacts around the world. Here I am taking off my clothes, diving into water, diving into places which until recently were frozen over. Ice is essential for life on Earth. It keeps our planet within a temperature range in which we can live. So something very wrong about us living our lives in such a way that we don't leave a sustainable world for our children. But it's also about justice between ourselves and the animal kingdom. But lastly, there's a type of justice, and that's a justice which I refer to as international justice justice between nations. Some nations are now, you know, they are so developed, they're using up so much carbon, and the impacts are not being felt in those nations. The impacts are being felt in other nations, and there needs to be justice between nations. Well, Lewis Pugh, thank you so much for jumping in there, literally, yeah. and trying to teach the world about what's going on in Greenland. Thank you so, so much.